Well, it's almost the weekend. Good Friday Eve. I guess uh, we're getting all these DDS VFOs out as quick as we can. This one here is a Cherokee Knight Rider 150. Pretty, uh, pretty rare radio to find around. Um, and pretty rare in this condition. It's real clean. Um, I don't believe these are the original knobs for it, though. Um, they act a little funny, but um, I'm not sure if they... Uh, they're correct or not but yeah you know the radio works great dds vfo looking good in it got the meter got the got the regular mod um so it's got the channel scan and let's go in here go up and see our spectrum see how that comes up now Again, I want to explain this about the Spectrum because a lot of people don't understand how this works. We had a guy on Facebook that was just uh, saying that there was no way it would be any useful with a uh, .96 display. So <laughs> we're going to make sure about this. When you first turn Spectrum Analyzer on, uh, this little bar right here is all the way to the top. Okay, That is your level adjustment that tells the radio when to stop and listen to the channel. So I'm going to bring it down here a little bit. Let's bring it down around S7. And that's the noise floor of what's around here right now. There's really nobody talking um, right at the moment. Let's see if we bring it down about S7 there, somewhere in that area. And if somebody keys, uh, it'll break the squelch and you'll hear that. The uh, Channel 6 guys were on a little bit ago. Um, and that's cool. You can also hit it once and it goes back to your channel. Let's get that clear. Oh, whoop, wrong, wrong knob. This one's funny because the, this, what would normally be the clarifier is over here. This would be the on off volume. It's really, it's really kind of weird. So <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I've been grabbing that wrong knob, uh, just about every, every day here. Let's see here. We'll go down here. And this one tuned up pretty nice between, um, let's see, he went 40 down and 40 up. So it was pretty pretty good range on it. Um, and, you know, we can wideband these also. If you want more receive range, we can wideband it. And uh, you'll get a bunch of, you know, a bunch of uh, other frequencies. Um, some radios do better than others. It just depends on the radio itself. The best ones to use, though, are like the Ranger multiband 10 meter radios um, because you can pretty much go 25 to 30 continuous and uh, works out really good. I guess nobody else on six is going to talk. Hey, Mark. See if you can key your radio over there and say hi to the people. I'll we'll make sure our spectrum analyzer is running right. Hey, how's everybody going? There it is. And see if I hit that button while it came up, it goes to the channel it found. So. And also in this one we did the um, not settings radio receiver there you go we did the uh radio receiver in here for uh, hf so you've got that it's always a good thing to have hf in there and just you know be able to listen vfo mode right gosh all the people love it and of course band scan uh here with your with your switch And you can cut that spectrum analyzer down, filter, turn in that filter a little bit by holding it in. So, yeah, I mean, it works really good. You know, and just go back to the channel you were on. My DDS done. All right. Everybody, when the weekend gets here, be really, really safe. Have a good weekend. Get your favorite beverage of choice and just chill. We're getting DDS VFO caught up. We're so close. And we'll be starting uh, more send-ins uh, in a little in a little while. I think December first is the next batch. All right, talk to you all later.